Hi, Pisces. This is your August 2024 reading, Leo season reading. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended version of this reading, which will be in the first link below. Check it out there in about 24 hours from when you're watching this video or from when it comes out, if you're watching it later. Um, yeah. Pricing is on my Instagram right now. It will all be in one place soon, but you can also contact me. Um, I will be have I will have my website up um, in about a week or so. So just bear with me. First card out. Ace of Pentacles. If you've been wondering where the money has been, or if you're starting to see an influx flux of money, good. I also want, want you to notice how you feel when you receive this money, what it feels like. There's a lot of cards here, but we're going to do it. What this feels like, what opportunities you're getting, notice how you're feeling, notice if how you're feeling once things were moving slow, what ideas came to you. You know, this could have been someone who put an idea in your head and it never came to fruition. And because of that, you started to see what could be possible for you. You know, this is opening up um, your way of seeing how you communicate with life, with your worth, with what's needed, with where you're going with where you may have been feeling stuck materially and how that relates to how you are communicating with yourself internally. There is a change of power that is really important for you to see as you create as you move forward this season, there will be a lot of passion, a lot of power, a lot of dynamics, dynamicism, dynamic energy. You're being relieved mentally of something. Something is healing in your mind something that for a long time had some kind of power over your own life, some kind of control. This could have been an addiction of some sort or addictive behavior tendencies or this, um, this need. And all of a sudden Leo sees in all the placements that are Leo are making things very clear, very obvious and you were wondering what the holdups been, perhaps maybe you weren't, but all of a sudden you get an emotional, you receive some, by receiving whatever it is, whether it's an opportunity of money, seeing yourself in a way in which that adds value to your life, being given the opportunity of being seen as valuable in a way that's important to you may make you feel more emotionally clear you may be digesting a lot in that way. Maybe you're being given the opportunity of that space or you're giving it to yourself because this Knight of Pentacles situation, you're clearing up, you're clearing up, you're clearing out. And through this, you realize that what has gotten you into the Knight of Pentacles, that slow, um, almost like perfectionist, if you fell into that way, what's clearing this up is what you, what's what been processing through you and how you've been able to communicate. So whatever you're receiving, notice how you're feeling, notice how, what shows up to try to pull you back, right? All of those negative things or whatever comes up in your head, like 
that's just getting you trying to not make you feel the maybe better the way that you feel and you start to notice where that's been attached to what you've been holding on to and what at one point added value could be an ego thing something that added value something that you saw and now can break free from you have the ability to maneuver in your mind in a way that's different because whatever it is doesn't have any weight if it's a person or their opinion of you there's nothing being held on to anymore this is being clearly either taken out of your life or moved away or shifting your mind might be shifting completely you might even feel like you're going into a mode where you realize that this just isn't working out and you need to in your needing to communicate differently that whatever's had power or control of your life over your passion over um and that could be the lack of self-control so that could be where you're meeting yourself because last month so much came to the surface and this month is month where we start to carve out you know we start to see ourselves be shaped and then next month things start moving forward the way that you feel right now is really important because a lot of things are happening and you'll have a lot of things to perhaps say or that you'll want to say and you'll get your chance to say them. There will be a moment where things get to a point and you know this when you really are in yourself in a way that you feel like it's not about what you have, what you don't have, nothing. It's just about the matter of fact and you're finally at a point where you're like, okay, I'm seeing this for what it is and this needs to change this needs something something's gotta give right something's gotta give not the fucking movie and the power dynamic between you and this person also the situation includes your dynamic with money they're tied up they're together and now you're in a place where you have more control over yourself and the way that you respond you have you feel more powerful within yourself whether you know it or not or been feeling really into it all of a sudden things change now your mind's starting to evolve differently it's starting to heal different, see things differently. So you may start to see creativity, sex differently. Where your sexuality comes from. Whether it's heightened or not. Where the, whether it's validation or not. I'm not saying it is. This is just maybe what's coming up. And be we're very wary of those who give you unsolicited advice. You might not even know whether you realize it or not or maybe this is just your warning to be prepared to hear that and to filter to let yourself filter and like if you forget what someone says know that it's for a reason really trust that that's for a reason be careful of being too pushy with life because if it's the same way just like the mirrors like it's the same way back it's glaringly obvious that when you're too pushy with life, it can become, feel like this thing that you're just trying to squeeze out of. But there's so much expansion this month, but there will be a point where things will be squeezed, where there will be pressure. And that will be around the full moon, which this also came out with all of the other cards. And it'll show you ways in which you may be, <coughs> excuse me, where you can work better with yourself and your set of skills, where you shine. Um, you may also, your communication from there on out may shift in a way and that's why it was hard because it's almost like something that you don't understand is shifting within you 
and becoming maybe even more sophisticated. There's some luck. There is protection that wherever you're moving towards, right? This is an interesting thing. It seems so mundane and silly, but think about, you know, the obligations or the things that you commit to and if they're like social gatherings or even just work set as kind of like a social gathering sometimes. I know, I know you see it that way sometimes. And you go in and you notice that when you're in discussion maybe you're talking about what you do right and maybe that's changing and you notice that you lie to some people or and you're honest with some other people sometimes i just want to say that and i think you already know this but this month when you feel like yes you're being revealed to so many truths that the truth is that that life is changing and that you have seen something in a way or your passion and your sexuality your drive is is being ramped up even um and it's being put towards work because those are the same thing and you can and you know everyone's different but that energy and having focus and balance with that and getting to a point where you can be at peace or not even think about how you're going to utilize it you just do things become clearer right that may be getting out some blocks you need to let out what you've been learning you need an outlet for it um and for some of you it will be work and putting your energy in there and getting more clear and just more accurate and more efficient and it just feels good and it is good and it shapes you and it draws people towards you and you might someone might want to have a little rendezvous and I would be careful especially if you're you know rendezvousing with someone that you know just be careful careful of third party situations if it's not welcome um chances are you will be caught and especially if it's in deceit and under the light you know of being yourself the consequences of being yourself, right? Um, these transitions are are also having you, the way that you communicate with yourself in your life is the way that you're communicating honestly. And it's revealing your authenticity. Again, it's revealing your shape, right? From the yin to the yang. Leo season, fire, sun, heart. You know what is coming to life from your heart where it is that you've been performing or playing a role and where you <clears throat> where that's you know can work and where it doesn't and where it's not authentic anymore where it's not you anymore that the situation really provoked thought into a very active part of your imagination even around this full moon is where things will round out it will sharpen your skills and your ability to see and feel so connected because you realize it's been your intuition and your ability to speak and that block there's nothing stopping this person from speaking and then going about their life and just noticing who comes along just by being themselves. And the thing is, is like, you know, you're always, you're like, I'm, but I'm always myself. I'm always myself. Like, but are you? Like, are we? Are you? You know, we work so hard to achieve and to get what we get. And then we're like, but why am I not happy? And why do I feel stuck? And this is what I thought this was. And then all of a sudden, the fortunate thing was that you didn't get stuck in that thought. That you, that exhausting yourself and getting to a point where you're like, I need, something's got to give. And what gives is this control over your idea 
of what transformation looks like, what going through something looks like, what death looks like, what change looks like, what deep change looks like and feels like. And you feel the highs and you feel the lows and you feel the in-betweens. And if you're experiencing something with someone right now, you may not be able to look beyond whatever their shortcomings have been or whatever they have done. And it may make you both the better for it. It may make, may make your life clearer if you choose to choose yourself, you know, and you choose to leave behind. I'm not saying to do anything drastic because if it's not the person, then it's what happened or the situation and being able to heal from it and being able to like, okay, is this another thing that I want to put on my plate to heal right now? Can I actually deal with this? What is actually possible? I just, and then all of a sudden you're clearing up space in your mind and realizing that there's only so much you can handle, that there's only this way that you want to go and then you see who comes with you. You see what comes from that. Because you know, Pisces, the thing is, is that whether you're, for those of you working with someone, we'll talk about if you're not or if you're in between two, but just like for lack of having me say all the thing, like, like we'll just start here. You can't make someone see your vision until you bring it to life or until you are able to present it, if you're able to present it in that way, or if you have a mutual trust between you two. But there needs to be a communication or else one person vision can like swallow the others. Each energy can get, you know, yes, they're going to come together, but there's still a different essence in both. It's when they get enmeshed and just murky you're unable to see and last month there could have been a lot that has happened now things are getting clearer things are getting brighter things are healing and it's facing the parts of us that feel amazing and sometimes it takes that to see how clear the parts of us that we don't feel as good that balance that is so natural that we humans and our egos forget about and it's dealing with both sides because especially when you're in this moment of feeling good and someone may be trying to bring you down you aren't allowing it anymore or you're realizing it and being like no like, we're not doing this anymore where I'm absorbing whatever it is that you're feeling, regardless of how I'm feeling, or you just start to walk away and people are like, what? And you're just like on this voyage and you're just on this philosophical voyage for some of you about how you want to work and contemplating how you want to see this through. For some of you, it is a power dynamic and you address it. And positive outcome this person acknowledges and takes accountability which washes the slate clean which moves you forward you know which reveals their character even more which makes the next decision even easier either way it looks like what you and life are communicating with each other is this ability to feel like regardless of what's attached to you when you go you're going and whatever is is what's best for you and it's always remembering that whatever is coming with you is what's best for you i just feel like my hair got more mermaidy as like the whole video went on i don't know maybe it's just me hey um <coughs> but that is the case here is that all of this is trying to do is shed light on and like shed weight, like this is shedding, like we come down to the end and it's very like minimal. Like whatever's been heavy in your mind, heavy within your body, you're able to process through a very important 
very, very important creation or conversation or healing. This could be a few things. And it has to do with a specific situation and a specific person. But it also has to do with how it relates to your control and what you have control over and the power dynamics and how those intertwine, intermingle, how it correlates with your worth. When it shows up and what's connected to it. It's a lot. But overall, it's the feeling. And being able to break free from whatever constraints day to day hold you back from being more expansive, right? It's the Saturn trying to put structure and you're like wanting to, it's almost like you feel like you need to implement structure and you do, but not in these ways. It's, it's in your values. It's in how you and the energy and the effort that you put into your day to day and it's getting a lot clearer it's getting a lot simpler it's getting cleaner just keep following it there's something that you're learning here that will add a greater benefit to how you continue moving from this position how you work maybe becomes more efficient clearer more understood by yourself and it changes you and it's changed you and you've allowed it. You've, you've found safety in your mind in this way of thought in speaking up and listening to yourself as well and listening to your life and seeing it for what it is. <coughs> Starting your, with your mind, coming out of your mouth, and taking action this month will feel a lot easier because every time you do it, what this is really showing us is that each time you're being put into the right place at the right time. And that's, I think, more than anything, what you can trust this month and what is being really pointed out through the Ace of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Um, the simplicity meets the complexity. And right now, simplicity is in your favor. All right, we will see you next month, Pisces.